Okay. So I've got this CPU cooler here from Master or uh, Cooler Master right here. And um, one of the things that uh, that I noticed was it had a fan that was mounted on it that um, it's an RGB fan, um, but it's it's not compatible to the um, software that I'm going to use, the RGB software that is compatible to every other thing in my system. So what I did was I went out and bought a new fan right here that was on the list for compatible fans. And this is also made by Cooler Master, but it's just a different uh, a different model that they support for the uh, uh, adjustable RGB, A RGB or D RGB, any way you want to call it, um, addressable RGB um, is what they call it. So um, the MF120 Halo uh, was one of the um, fans that uh, is supported by the RGB software that I'm going to be using. And here's that fan right here, actually, um, from that box. So I'm going to be taking the fan from here off and replacing it with this one. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So we're just going to open this up and take this out. Right there. That's just a bunch of junk. Take the fan out, the cooler, and we'll set it right there. Now, this is really easy actually to take off um, if you're going to do this. Um, it actually just snaps on the side and this comes right off. So it's very, very easy to take off. Um, and then, uh, and then we can just work on the fan itself um, and removing the fan from the clip itself and then replacing uh, the new fan on this clip and then putting it back on to see the, the uh, cooler. So, funny thing is, what this uh, vinyl strip keeps, I don't know, it, I don't know, it just keeps coming off and I don't know why. Uh, it's just a protective um, little vinyl. It says, P please peel off label before you use it. Of course, it's a big warning label, um, obviously. But uh, it's got a mind of its own, and it wants to come off even before I even use it. So we're just going to set that aside. And we're going to take a look at, at this. This is the back of the fan, obviously. So now we got that out of the harness, so that's good. Now one of the things I noticed is that the screws for this are actually beneath these little sticky stickies, and uh, and I'm just going to just put these stickies aside on here for now. These are actually these stickies are meant to. stop vibration of the fan to the cooler between the fan and the cooler um, okay that that one and I got that one I'm just gonna stick it right here okay now we're going to grab our new fangled kit for screw removal wherever I set that down. Okay. So we got our handy dandy screw kit right here. And for this one, I don't need the extension. Um, this is just straight 
Phillips head screws and it looks like they're a little bit lar on the large side so <laughs> we're gonna go with this one right here let's do this so you can see it doesn't take much to get those screws out just a couple of threads and they're coarse threads too so that makes them real easy to get out oh boy okay so that's how that goes okay well now I know okay so that's the, the little clip in a nutshell. Okay, so we want to take these little stickies off of the fan. And this is a pretty hardy little fan they got there. And uh, there's rubber, actually, on both sides. Same with, the, same with the new fan. So this is the new fan right here. And it, it is harnessed up as well. I didn't actually have to take it off of there because it um, wasn't actually part of that clip. So, live and learn. Okay, live and learn. So, I'm going to put these screws back on. That one's done. That's done. That's done. Okay. Um, seems like everything that I need so now we can go and I can take this sticky off and put it back on it's not a very sticky sticky and um, there should be one more somewhere. Okay. Um, okay. Had to do a rewind and just to find that the sticker was literally on the other side here. I am half blind here apparently but yeah that goes on there so that goes like that and then this goes back on cooler just like that doesn't really snap but it just seats right in the groove and uh, that'll hold it right there 
and uh, that's all there is to it so now we've got the uh, fan replaced on the cooler you know I knew I'd make a mistake but um, I didn't really make a mistake but um, you know I mean I'm not an expert or anything but um, it's a learning experience you know once you've done it once and then you know how, how it goes um, so now I can put that in there tuck these cables away the funny thing is is that now because this fan came with this I got I'm keeping this piece with this cooler so I'm going to throw that in the case there there we go okay so that's set so now I got my new fan in for my case now this is a little bit now, if you can, I don't know if you can tell. Let's see. So, this is the old fan. This is the fan that came with it. And this is the new fan. All right. Now, you can tell. Now this is clear. And that's white. And um, you can tell. Now, the old fan, the RGB, um, I think is actually part of the fan itself which is fine this is just rgb this is an argb so it just you know once you static once you set your color that's it for it but nothing on the outside is rgb okay now this is a different little different model this has rgb in the fan itself also you see this white in the circle around it will also illuminate uh whatever colors you choose to uh to let it illuminate too so that um, is one of the differences number two number one it's um it plays nice with my software i only need one i only wanted one you know uh piece of software with rgb I've learned, and this is, you know, this is a learning experience. I learned that, um, you know, not all software plays with every single, um, manufacturer of RGB. Um, but they've come out with a, a new free software that you can use that plays with a lot of manufacturers. Uh, one of which is Cooler Master, but only specific models. So you got to kind of pay attention to that. And I ended up sending back quite a few um, fans, which is okay. I mean, I bought them and they were because they were cheaper. Uh, but I went and bought some a little bit more expensive uh, ones that uh, uh, match my uh, case fans that I have in there, which are also. Um, compatible with the uh with the software that i bought so i bought a three pack and a single um because i needed four fans three for the top and one at the back in the back of the in the back of the um case on the other side of this cooler so can't wait to get all those installed. The biggest issue with doing this is, honestly, it's wiring the RGB. I'm, I'm, it's going to be a mess, and I'm going to be a little lost. The rest of the stuff is a lot easier, but the, the lighting, wiring the lighting and programming the lighting, that's going to be my toughest task. By far. That goes in there. That goes back in there. Boom and boom. So that's it. And now I've got an extra fan that I can use. Now, you know, if my fan in my older com computer goes out, I can just replace, uh, 
you know, one of the fans with this. This is nice to just have a spare fan. Um, yes, it's RGB, and my PC that I have isn't RGB. But I can just tuck it, tuck the wire away, and call it a call it a day. Oh yeah, this thing came in handy already. Look at that. I wouldn't say it paid for itself already, but it definitely uh this is definitely a cool little toolkit, man. I fix it. Now let me tell you something. There is a channel out there that I am so glad that I found. And um, it's called Jay's Two Cents. And I didn't even know, um, you know, who he was or anything. I just stumbled on his channel. And I watched one video, then I watched two videos. And this guy's got hundreds of videos. And he tells it like it is. Uh, he's very enthusiastic. He knows what the hell he's saying. And, um, you know, he, he really doesn't mince words and he's not afraid to throw a, a manufacturer under the bus for, you know, screwing up. Uh, but his videos have been kind of invaluable to teach me what the hell I'm about to do, which is great. The guy's got like a million or two million or three million followers. I don't know. Um, he's obviously a, um, influencer. If he tells you to buy this. Millions of people. If he tells you to buy this, millions of people go out and buy this. Um, it's just the way the way it is. Now he didn't tell me. Uh, actually, nothing I have did he tell me to buy. But um, I can tell that his channels. Uh, he did do the motherboard, kind of kind of as an aside. Uh, the one time um, he did he did the motherboard as an aside. So. Um, and I, I think he liked it, but there was others that convinced me to buy this motherboard. Um, but he did teach me about, you know, all the, you know, uh, the, the more components that match, the better, the easier it will be on you. Um, even if you don't want, um, that specific um, manufacturer in there, it'll it will make it easy on you. Uh, the more like components, like like manufacturers, less software to install. Anyways, that's it. That's my um, that's my little build. That's my little um, Build for the day, I guess you could call it. So, I'm going to have to mark this as to what fan this is. This is not a Halo 120. It's just a Cooler Master 120. And then I'll just stick this away in the drawer. And When I need a fan for my one of my computers, well, then now I have a fan. So... Till next time, take it easy.